Abuju Wabshka Sini Queen Dijnika Sagina and Don Jaba Bawa Ting the Da De and Jabam Kak Mac and a Minising Mishiki and Dodam Ojibwe Nishnabi Queen Dao. Um good afternoon. My name is Colleen Medicine and uh, I work in the Sioux Tribe Language and Culture Department and today we're pleased to bring you our ninth virtual Nishinabemo lesson and today's lesson will be on Kidda. You're going to hear from our four instructors today, Susan Asquith, Paul Blondo, Shirley Recolet, and Cecil E. Pavlat Sr. And so I'll turn it over to our instructors. They're going to give their good introductions, and then we'll get right into the lesson content for you. Me, Gretch. Naha. Ninsam Colleen. Aha. Ani Kinawea. Susan and Dishnikaz. Um Bauting Donjba, uh Bounting the Da, uh Minwa um Mayingan and Dodem, uh Bidabnikwe uh Dishnikaz Minwa. Um, that means um, my name is Susan. I uh, live in the Sioux and I was born in the Sioux and it's kind of like a little ingrown Tony. I always stayed here the whole time. Um, I, um, I, my uh, dodem is my uh, wolf, my ingun. And I think that's all I said. Now, how? You come, Paul. I need. Bonjour, uh, Paul Blondo and Dejnikas, uh, Ba Teng Don Jaba, Skandia and Denda, uh, Gizen Do Dem, uh, Maingan Do Nishnabe Nuiswin. Uh, my name is Paul Blondo. I, uh, live in Scandia, Michigan, and, uh, I am Eagle Clan. My native name is Mayingan. Oh, how? Kingdom surely. Miigwech. Ani Kinawoya, Shirley Rekle, Ndishnakas, Kimi Square, Spring Water Woman, Donishnabe Nozwin, Wikwem Kung Danjaba, Bak Ting Dada, Wawashkesh Dodem. Hi, my name is Shirley Reckley. I live, I'm from Manitoulin Island, Wakumbakan. I live in Sioux, Ontario. And my Indian name is Spring Water Woman. And I'm a deer clan. Naha, miigwech, kitam, tisa. Anin, kinagoya, tisa pavlot, indigena kaz, igudang wasa, anin. Ojibwe minwa jagana shi and dao, a ji jokundo dem, o ting and don jiba. My name is Cecil Pavlat, I'm Crane Clan from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Aha, much da da. Aha. Miigwech, Cecil. Um, one of the, um, uh, Colleen, is it okay for me to start now? Yep. There we go. Um, what I would like to um, say, first of all, Ani means hi. Susan and Dishnikovs, Bidabinikwe Minwa. Bidabinikwe, first light of day woman, forgot to say that. That's who I, that's my uh, Nishnabe knows when my name in Nishnabe. Um, and I would like to say, Nahal Majtada. Um, Majta is starting, and whenever you put that D-A-A -A ending on there, it says, let's do it. Let's start. Majta da. Let's start. Um, one of the things I would like to remind people of right at the beginning is this is lesson number nine. I think maybe Colleen mentioned it's number nine. We have number eight um, archived on the site, so you can always go back and take a look at lessons one through eight. Um, we have progressed along a little, um, and it, if you didn't even hear it at all, you might like to. Uh, if you have heard it, you may say, hmm, some of this isn't really sticking. Let's go back and look at it again. 
because the goal really is that you will actually be able to speak this language. Aho. So I am going to say, Ani Kinawea. Ani, that's high. And then I say Kinawea. Kina means um, everybody. Um, and then Gua. And just Kinawea. Wea means somebody. All Kina is all. Wea means somebody. Kinawea. Ani Kinawea. Hello, all the somebodies. That is, hello, everybody. But if you listen, um, with all your ears, when you heard Cecil greet you just a minute ago, he did not say Kinawea. He said Kinawea, Kinawea, Kinawea. And you can see it written on the screen there. Kinawea, Kinawea. And go is, uh, uh, can also be pronounced this way. Go, 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 go. They sound a lot alike. And that little sound that you make, it isn't uh, a noun that names something. It's not a verb that says how and some action that's going on. It's really an exclamation point. In English, you might write an exclamation point, but we don't really say it. Um, but in Anishinaabemwin, we actually have a word for that. OK, I think we're ready for the next slide. Okay, so um, it, one of the uh, things that we would like to, uh, that I, in my section of teaching today is going to talk about um, exclamations or things that we can just say in our everyday life. And so one of those is abjapu nishin. Nishin is good. And sometimes people learn a few Anishinaabemwin words like ani, hello, bama pi, Goodbye, miigwech, thank you. And sometimes people learn the word nishin. It means good. So apachibu nishin means very, exclamation point, good. Apachibu nishin. Apachibu nishin. Uh -huh. Let's keep going. Oh, wait, before we change that, just take a look at what it says. Can we go back, Colleen, just one? There we go. Um, it says Apache Go Nishin. And I think what I did when writing these out from now on, I'm just writing it as G O. But when you look at things or when you hear, you open your ears and hear how these sounds really are, some people will say Go and some people will say Go. Go. Apache Go Nishin. Um, in this case, um, it's spelled with a G O. Could be either way though, both ways are good. Okay, Colleen, miigwech. Here's another one that you could say. Genigu, or you could say genigu. Uh, ge means and, and then ni, this was from the word nin, it means me. So together that would say, and me, or me too. Genigu, me too. I want to come, me too. Um, I'm hungry, me too. That idea. Genigu. So you want to practice that one, and that's a great thing to be able to say. Genigua. Aha, let's try the next slide. Now, this one, I think we did this one before. Taha. And it means holy smokes, or holy crow. And my family would have said holy crow. Or sometimes um, if you listen to uh, Batman and Robin, uh, they, uh, I think uh, Robin used to say holy something um, about three times per episode. I think they said, I have looked it up, it said 378 times in the episodes he used to say holy something. He would say holy Toledo Batman or holy strawberries Batman, Batman or holy coronavirus Batman, he would have said today. So, um, so taha, that works. It's actually short for shtaha, uh, shtaha, But just plain taha is good for us. Holy smokes. So, so far we said apajiguanishin, really good, because we want to be able to say that to people. Geniguo, it means me too. And taha, holy moly. Okay, next one. 
a help. Here are the four that you might want to say. When you come into um, a, you know, a, a setting, you might say, Ani Kinabuea. And I'm uh, and you will, you could also say abjugonition, that's really good. Ta ha, holy smoke. Gen igua, me too. So these are the ways, uh, uh, some of the words then that we, uh, we could encourage you to use because they are really familiar. You can use them all the time. Let's look at some ways that some situations where you might use them. But let's look at the next slide. Here we are. Okay, here's the situation. Paul is sit sitting there with us. He says, I'm hungry. If he said, I'm hungry, then what would you say? Um, Colleen, can you go back to the, to the previous one for a second? We're gonna ask you to go back and forth. Okay, here are some options. Paul says, I'm hungry. So what would you say? You could say, ta ha, or genigua, me too. Probably wouldn't say, Ani Kinaguea. <laughs> you might, just to confuse him. But probably going to say, Genigua, me too, or Ta Ha, holy smokes, you just ate, yes, you just ate five minutes ago. So um, those are two things you might say. Oh, uh, Colleen, flip us back to the next one. We're going to go back and forth a bit. Okay, here's another situation. You walk into the kitchen where people are eating. So what could you say? So back to the first, we want to look back at that other slide, see what our options are. There we are. Okay, you're walking into the kitchen. Everybody else is already there. They're already eating. Um, uh, so you're most likely probably to say, Ani Kinagoya. Hi, everybody. Um, since no one said they were um, that they were hungry or that anything, probably not Geniwa, but you would say Ani Kenagoya, or you could say Ta Ha. It, it's, then you wouldn't know what else to say after that. But holy cow, everybody's already eating in here. That's the idea that you could say. So you can see Ta Ha is going to be wonderfully useful. Okay, let's look at the next situation. I think it's about Cecil, if I can remember. Yeah. Cecil has just painted his new porch. I was going to say he just painted his new car, but eh, probably not. Okay, um, so Cecil has just painted his new porch. So let's look at what he did say. There we go. Um, so uh, I'm guessing that you're probably going to want to say, Abitigonition, that's really good. I'm sure he's a good painter, so you would have every reason to say that. Abjagonition, or you could say Taha. Again, Taha works, just works for all kinds of things. Okay, let's look at the next one. Poor Colleen has to go back and forth. Okay, you're at a powwow, which you don't get to do right now, but hopefully this coronavirus will get over and we get to have our powwows back in person again. You see some friends at that powwow, and what would you say? So we at this point, can you remember that you might want to say Ani Kinawea? Hi everybody. Hello everybody. Uh, and yeah, there we go. Hi everybody. Um, and so um, if somebody is dressed has really a really cool regalia on, you could say Abijiguanishan. Hey, that looks good. Or that's good. Or ta ha. You might say all of those. Um, Okay, so let's go back. Next situation. Okay, after you help Shirley do planting, she says she's tired, which she has probably been bending over planting all those beautiful tomatoes that she started up. You might see that in uh, some of the earlier uh, lessons. Okay, so let's see, what, what do we say to Shirley when she says she's tired? Well, you could say Taha again, but you might want to say Gen Equal. Me too. I'm tired too. Yeah. I'm tired too. Or you might look at all the plants and say 
Optical Nishin. This looks really good, but Me Too is probably your best bet on that one. Okay, the last one, what, what is it? A neighborhood kid is showing off his bike riding skills. So that's kind of cool. So honestly, I look at them riding their bikes like that, leaping into the air with them, and thinking, holy moly, ha ha. Okay, so what, uh, what are our other options? There we go. So you would, you might say ta ha, because honestly, you should have every right to be impressed by these kids. Okay, or you might want to say, Abitiglonition, that's really good. Yeah. Uh -huh. I would not be saying Ganigua. <laughs> that would not work because it's too dangerous looking. So, uh -huh. well, I guess our final slide. Um, so how in the world are you going to stick these in your brain so that you can really feel good and use them all the time? Well, the answer is there's no getting around it. You have to practice those phrases and you have to use them at every opportunity. And before you know it, they'll be coming out in your dreams even. It'll be so fun. Good for you, everybody. Miigwech. Paul, Gintang. Ani kenoya. Maho, much tada. Palm dish nakas. Much tada. Let's get started. Okay, last week we learned to say I, nin. Unless you specifically say an action happened in the past or future everyone automatically assumes it's happening in the present right now. So, Nbukade, I'm hungry. Ndobukade, I'm hungry now. When you say this, Ndo, um, it, it's more of an exclamation, I am hungry. Ndobukade, I am hungry. Ndobukade, I'm hungry, and it's happening now. Do bakere. I am hungry. Uh oh, next slide. Ah, uh, talking about you now. Keen. Just like neen, it's shortened to n. Keen is shortened to g. G bakere. You are hungry. And it's assuming now you're hungry. Kibakade. Kito bakade. You're more ex exclamation on that. You are hungry. Now, uh, next slide. So um, we don't actually tell someone they're hungry. Uh, we don't usually tell someone how they feel, so it's helpful to use the word na. Um, we used that previously in other lessons. Na changes an idea to a question. So um, you wouldn't tell someone you're, that they're hungry, you'd ask if they are hungry. Bakade na. Are you hungry? Bakade na. Are you hungry? And that's still in the present. The book of day. No. Are you hungry now? Uh -huh. Next slide. Okay, we can review uh, some words and phrases that you've learned. Ani. Hey, hi. Ani. Mahal. All right. Uh, Maj Tada. Let's get started. Kinawaya. Uh, everyone. Or Kinagwaya. Uh, exclamation that gua is like an exclamation point. So, um, more exclamation on that guaya. Kinawaya. Everyone. Bakade. Hungry. He or she is hungry. 
poke de geni uh, me too geni gua that's a, me too more emphasis on that geni gua and up jig gua uh, very much so very very uh really uh up je up je gua nishin very good up je gua nishin sta ta ha or ta ha uh holy fill in the blank um <laughs> exclamation of surprise sta ta ha and then eh is yes no is in a question form ka no uh, okay uh, next next slide here okay here's a, a way we can use this uh, a little bit um everyday speech um so you're talking someone um i'd say oh i'd say i'm hungry and susan answers me too uh, all right uh, it's very good uh, i'm really hungry ha ha good na um holy smokes are you hungry too are are you hungry oh yeah oh yeah i'm hungry yeah much tada okay yeah let's start let's get going sweet on bay we stand up okay uh Though you know some ways to say I and you, just focused on the n and g forms. Uh, they're good enough to get you through. And uh, remember, say all the words out loud so you can hear yourself speaking. And uh, if you have someone else to speak with, uh, go ahead and have a little conversation together. Uh huh. Miigwech. Ani kinawoya, Shirley Ndishnakas. Hello, everyone. My name is Shirley. Nahao, machtada. Okay, let's get started. Nango, today's action word, kidda. Kidda means he or she is saying something. Kidda. Vishkogana, Cecil Kidda. Cecil said. Kidda, when we talked about <coughs> I, Nin, or <coughs> G, Keen, we drop the final A with kidda, which go ni kid, ni kid. I'm saying he kid, he kid. You are saying kidda, kidda. He or she is saying. Uh huh. <clears throat> Next one, now. Susan Kida, Kinagoya. Minwa Cecil Kida, Kinagoya. Minwa means and, so Susan Kida, Susan said. Cecil Kida, Kinagoya. Cecil said everyone. Kinagoya, Kinagoya. It means the same, like kino, kino, kinawaya, kinawaya, everybody, kinawaya, the whole people, kinawaya, 
Can you go ya? Kishpen if you're if there's a whole bunch of people standing around, kinagoya. And then if there's people standing behind the other people, kinagoya. It's like the whole wide world. Kinagoya. Ni kit goa anwe ki kit. Ki kit goa. Ki kit goa. I said anwe. And or but anwe means but. Now how I'd say gua or go go. Ah uh, gua, mi gua, mi gua anwe. Ah uh, it's almost like mi gua anwe. Ashnagegi mi gua anwe. I'm fine. Mage mi go geni, mi go geni, and me too. So every dialogue of our language is beautiful and okay to use. Ni kid apjago nishin. Ni kid apjago nishin. I said very good. Ki kid eh. Kid eh. I said yes. Ki kid eh. Same thing. Ki kid eh. I said yes. Paul ki kid na bakade. Paul ki kid na bakade. Paul said I'm hungry. Ki kid na bakade. He said I'm hungry. Ki kid bakade. So the name Paul ki kid. So I'm mentioning Paul na bakade. So Paul is saying I'm hungry. Ki kid. In the book there, he said, I'm hungry. So, Gikida can be anybody. Gikida. Instead of putting a name on there. Maha? Maha. Maha, do you practice Gikit? Nikit? Nikit, I'm saying Gikit. You are saying Kida. Anybody can say whatever. Kida. Kita, uh, he or she said it. Gi kit, ni kit. Gi kita, again, mi gunasab, I'm saying, gi kita, he or she said. So little, little chance like, um, tisa gi kita, nahao. Paul, we kita, nahao. Paul's gonna say yes. Susan, kida, naha. Susan just saying, naha, yes. Naha? Sure. Just a little practice on the, on the, the words. Naha. Ani. Nua, kinagoya, Cecil and Dijnakaz. Naha, majdada. With a basic word like kida, an action word, he or she is saying, we can add all the extras that let us say what we're thinking. So all those additional words we just learned can add to that word kida. Already we can add a name and indicate the action is happening now or in the past. Kida, he says, he or she says, that he or she is always implied. Paul kida. Paul says. Gi kida. He said. He or she again said. Implied. Paul gi kida. Paul said. We can show the action will happen in the future. Surely we kida anwe. Surely we kida ani. Surely will say hi. The we is the future tense there, indicating it will happen. Surely will say hi. Surely we kida ani. Next slide. We can show the action will not happen. 
Gawain Susan Wikida see ka. Susan will not say no. Gawain Susan Wikida see ka. Again, that Gawain at the beginning and the C added to kida, they always are together. And that makes it say no. So it goes into the negation. Next slide, please. <clears throat> we can change a thought into a question, the kind that has a yes or no answer. Paul kida na ani. Did Paul say hi? Paul kida na ani. Did Paul say hi? Okay, uh, let's put it all together. Shirley Gikida and Anwe and Gikida Ka. Shirley Gikida and Anwe and Gikit Ka. Shirley said yes, but I said no. Gikit na bakade. Gikit na bakade. Did you say she is hungry? Again, that na makes it a question. Apajagonishin gikida. Apajagonishin gikida. Very good, he said. Nahao. Gawin ge nigwa nui kitsi. Nahao. Gawin ge nigwa nui kitsi. Okay, I won't say me too. Genigua, me too. Gawin, again, makes it into the negative, the negation. Now how? Gawin, genigua, nui kitsi. Okay, I won't say me too. Jaja, ngi kit ani minua maj tada. I already said hi and let's start. Remember that word jaja. We learned that a few lessons back. And we're repeating these things to reinforce, to help you remember. Jaja and gikit. Ani minua maj tada. I already said hi and let's start. So the learning strategy of what we've been trying to reinforce is to use those action words like kida or bakade and then add the additional words that we've been teaching to uh, make that a complete thought, a complete sentence. So who said it and when, presently, past, or future, or make it a question with a yes or no answer or make it negation, will not. So if he was not hungry or did not say that, Make sentences using all the words you know. Mix in English where you need to. But when we mix in that English, we, we got a little joke we call that Ojiglish. So Ojibwe and English mixed together. Yeah. Miigwe. Next slide. Miigwech kinigwe muk. Thanks for listening. Bama P. All right, that's all for our lesson today, and we'll catch you guys all at the next lesson. Miigwech and Bama Pete. Uh -huh.